Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melter Production, and today I'm going to show you a quick one on how to change the tone of your instruments using IRs. So we're going to use in freeform EQ, and you can use this uh, as a match EQ to kind of change the sound of your instruments to make it more like what you want it to sound like. So in this case, I'm going to be using this patch. Uh, it's uh, like a synth strings device I made for M Sound Factory. It sounds like this. Okay, so there you go. You heard it. It sounds all right, but there's something in the mid-range I don't really like. Now, I could go and just hunt around through EQ and things like that, but let's try a simpler and perhaps better way. So, I have M Freeform EQ. I'll open it here. And so, you see, I have everything set up. It's basically the default except for two things. I turn the minimum phase on, and then if you look here, you see this red line. So, this is an EQ profile from uh, a maybe I think there's a sample library but if you're wondering okay where do I get this EQ profile from you can get it from a sample library just find any sample library you have and record the input into here and hit analyze uh, another way you could do this is if you have any kind of sound recording or you know if you had an orchestra behind you and you had a microphone you could get it that way anything with audio will get you this EQ profile what you want from the EQ profile is you want to know how it sounds and you kind of need the full range of the sound if you can so if you can play exactly what you have in the recording that's the best and it'll give you an exact match if not try to come close and so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to now analyze what's coming out of M Sound Factory by playing just a few things up and down the keyboard so I can get a target. So let's turn on the target and I'm gonna play here and just try to match it if I can. Okay, so not the best playing, but I think you get the idea. If you can, it's actually better to do a longer clip so you get a better you know, average out of it, but I think this is enough in this case. So now you see here where it says equalize green to sound like red. I'm going to click that, and here's my output. So it's giving me a little bit of these dips here. You notice here if I change the smoothness, if I move it all the way down like this, you see, oh, okay, if I hit now green to sound like red, it sounds like that, but that's going to sound like comb filtering. So I usually like to keep it between about 4 and 7, I think is kind of the sweet spot. I think 5 is okay, though. So there, it's smooth, but it's not too smooth. And here, I could cut this off if I want. Sometimes if you see like a big like a hump or something like that, that's not good, and that's not what we want. Uh, so if you see that, you can kind of go in here and kind of smooth it out. Here, where it's down low like that, it's not really bothering me. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference in the sound because violins don't even go that low. But that's just something you can do. You can go in here and you know draw it yourself if you like. So now let's hear it and try to even out the volume. Okay, so already I'm kind of liking that uh, a bit more. It has a bit more top end. So let's hear it here, and I'll do the before and after. So this is before. So I think that high end and kind of like the mid scoops there really help it and to me it makes it sound uh, better. So from here what we can do is just hit save IR and I already have it here like video violins IR click OK. Okay and now we can just turn this off and be done with this. But you're thinking okay now how do I get it in here. So let's go to the edit screen here and down here I'm going to use something called convolution bank. Okay, and so what this does is it just allows me to add lots of different IRs together and I can switch between them. So instead of just 
one different violin tone or violins tones etc i can use multiple so i can kind of switch between them and choose what i want so i'm just going to double click here find my ir and just click ok okay so now we see we have it here uh sometimes it may not uh register a difference at first so sometimes you have to go to another one and then come back as opposed to this, I'll do it before and after again. So in this case, it's a lot louder. And if you, you're finding that you're like, oh, okay, it's, it's too loud. I can click auto loudness here and that will kind of bring the volume down. Of course, there's all sorts of, you know, different volume plugins, you know, you can raise the volume up yourself. But I think that gives you an idea. And from there, I could just add more for each of these slots. And then you can, you know, select them here if you want. And you can even rename these if you prefer to do that. So I think this gives you a lots of different uh, power and tonal options. And it's a lot easier than trying to EQ it yourself and match it by ear. You know, the computer does everything for you. So you can just do it in a short amount of time and get whatever sound you want. So hope you found this useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. And until next time, see you.